da, da, da. Da, da, da. You can also have horizontal elements like bond beams. In this case, we have a horizontal bond beam here. We have a horizontal bond beam here. And what a bond beam is, it's the block. The block could be an open bottom unit, like you like you see here. You know, you, you, these are these are open cells. Because these are open cells, we have to have a grout stop. So this is lath or some kind of mesh here that um, allows the grout to be confined to this course. And we've got um, horizontal rebar, one piece, two pieces. I don't know, three. Whatever's designed, whatever you need. Uh, and then the and then the grout, which is you know goes around the rebar. So those are the components of a bond beam. These show you um, some variations. This is a knockout unit. So this is a standard block, and the mason just takes his brick hammer and knocks out those cross webs to turn it into a um, a bond beam unit. The U block is a solid bottom, meaning that if you do have vertical bars as well as horizontal bars, you've got a drill for the vertical bars. Um, yeah, this is, this is an A block, or you can have an H block where both ends are open. This makes it easier to lay the block around rebar that's been placed. And then this is just a notched block. If, uh, I mean, usually you want your bars down at the bottom of the uh, bond beam units, but if, if the engineer says that it's okay that they're near the top, then you can use that one. And then the other bond beam model I have is this one showing the continuity of the rebar around the corners. This would all be designed by the structural engineer.